Hey, Franklin actually spawned inside of his house. And he's still wearing his Little Mac gear. Look, look at that, those green shorts. They definitely look like Little Mac. And I mean... Yeah, that's just the way it is. Franklin's just the black Little Mac. I, I had to say it that way just because it rhymes, and it's hilarious. Uh, but... Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is Glacier Cano here today to play some more GTA 5. And I forgot that when I wasn't recording, I went ahead and bought Franklin the good old-fashioned, or new age fashioned. I'd say it's still, I guess it's somewhat new age for having weed and whatever. Uh, yeah, because I'm the new owner. But they're just like, I, I, Franklin, you're the new owner? Franklin, you're the new owner, man! I, I don't remember what happened. I just remember that the deed went out of my hands and a ton of money went into it. And that's all that matters. Oh, ow, my knees. But still, though, as I was saying before, Franklin totally looks like Little Mac. So he's gonna be in Super Smash Bros. And that's all that matters. But basically, while I do like five things at once here and I'm trying to turn down my volume while turning up the heat. Time to turn up the heat. Uh, my plans for today, since like still, last time I was recording, it was so mission heavy and I was just like stuck with this evil man, which I forget to... I think it's this one that I can actually do with uh, Franklin, which is Barry. Barry's an evil, terrible person. So that's why I'm going to be doing uh, still more races. And probably uh, I'll be doing this paparazzi guy again. Oh yeah, Beverly, you like that, don't you? But like that's a good thing about having Franklin up in the hills, because I mean he's at least halfway there most of the time to things. It's too bad his uh, garage is not this one. Because, I mean, Michael, like, they should really have their garages next to where they live. It makes sense, because, I mean, if I wanted to own a personal garage, which is not in my house, and it's made for, like, illegal custom vehicles and so, uh, so on and so forth. Because, I mean, like, why else would that be in there? Like, it makes sense, because, I mean, they definitely do steal vehicles in this game to put in there. Even though you, you can't do that and actually you can do that in multiplayer. It just depends on what the price of the car is. Just be like, well, it's, it's mine now. I'll change the plates even though I don't. I just keep the plate exactly the same because the app does not work for me. I don't know about anybody else, but it ha has anybody out there tried to do the app? Which you can change your license plate and you, it's the one that has like chopped the dog and you're just like, oh, you can clean up after him and pretend he's a Tamagotchi. But not as good as a Tamagotchi, probably, because, I mean, those things were awesome until they died, like, the day that you bought them. Because <laughs> it's hard to take care of a digital pet. What is this wasted on you. What's happening here? Did I kill everyone, or what? Ah! Um, well, I'll, I will stop you. I, I sort of want to use a shotgun, because, I mean, we are close range. Shotty to the face. Oh, thank God. There we go. That was so. Oh, she's she's alive. Did you hear what they were saying to me? Well. Would you give me a ride home? I I don't want to walk back on my own. Yeah, but I don't blame you. Isn't Come this on. your car? Let's get out of here. What kind of car is yours? I just want to ask. Fugitive. I don't know. Franklin's car is probably better. Sorry, you're. We'll we'll just call a tow truck later on. And sorry that I almost ran over you, lady, but that's how I save the day. I may, I may get rid of your captors and whatnot, but I almost kill you in the process. I'm staying just off Sonora Road by the Redwood Lights. Redwood Lights. What? Redwood Lights truck. So isn't that like the smoking cigarette company? Yes, the company itself is smoking. It makes sense because it's like the smoke pipes. No idea. I was just talking to a friend on my cell phone when I hear them behind me yelling about the industrial revolution and the internet. <laughs> At first I thought, oh, a couple of senile old timers must have wandered out of the nursing home. So I'm like, makes sense. Did you get lost? Is there anyone I can call? Then they start really shouting at me how I'm dead wood that I've failed as a generation. The next thing you know, they've got me pinned down on the ground. Terrifying. That's it kind of a bad so thing if you have blackouts like that and just faint all the time. Like spoiled ham, crispy hands all over me, 
ranting about how technology is evil. Yeah, except they was in the car. Exactly. I'm, I'm thinking maybe they're like those weird religious folks who live out east that you see on MeTV, who publicly reject modern life but secretly drive to the farmer's market in a pickup and era sneakers. Rejecting television by being on television? Right. But then they start going on about it's a man like of anti wanting to drink my blood. And I realize that this is something way more sinister. Some so kind of vampires? freaky baby boomer cult. <laughs> so weird. They kept saying that youth is wasted on me. But I've ruined society. Shit, which is rich coming from the generation that screwed everything for everyone but them. I know, right? The generation before them survived the Great Depression, fought the Second World War, and built America to greatness. Then they stepped in and squandered it all. And it's our generation taking all the flack. Blame the millennials. Even if we are self-entitled narcissists who expect three-hour workdays, who do you think we learned it from? <laughs> Shit, I don't know. Wow. If you're looking for a college debate about me... Look, I can probably Let's... just get there quicker myself. But I you were just... want to get home. Okay, fine. I'll go there then. I just wanted to. I just wanted to have a nice conversation. If you didn't want to talk so much, then just be quiet. Oh uh, yes, yeah, autosave. Is this really where she's staying, or is this just like? Oh, uh, it looks like... Did she just take a selfie or something? And then she got out a cigarette at the same time. See, I told you that it was something about smoking. Because she has do does stuff with the Redwood. I think it's Redwood, I don't remember. But, like, that's the way that it is with, like, a lot of this game is that... Uh, Rockstar likes to have the parody thing in which uh, they mention... I might actually be able to take a shortcut by going up here. No, they always say, oh, they're self-entitled people and what and whatnot. I'm saying whatnot a lot today. But even though like I wouldn't if she's a millennialist or whatever, wouldn't she technically be like under fourteen? Or fourteen at the very most? I don't know if that makes sense. I need I probably need to look up my uh, lore of uh, modern life. Yes. Just like Rocco's modern life. So that was a thing, right? Yeah. But I was, I'm still so very upset that she just like, well... Is her car still here? Nah, it's not here anymore. And what it, wait a second, was this here before? I don't remember seeing any pylons on the road like that. But if she didn't want to talk still and like, she's like, oh, I want to get home fast. Then she would have like at least saw that her house was there and like, okay, fine, I'll get away. Right now. I thought I was gonna say on the radio, get your hands in the air, like you just don't care. Hey, thanks for hooking me up. You're gonna try and show me who's boss. Yes. Why do they make these pants so tight? Oh, well, that's it's more comfortable that way. Come on, sort of. Friggin' race. At least those are uh, better than having like super tight jeans. Super tight jeans are not a good idea to do. At least. What? what? Oh, yeah, I guess these are like SUVs. I forgot to read the thing, because it was something like SUVs before. Let's do this! Off-road big vehicles. Oh, there's only five of us in the race? It's probably for the best, considering, like, we're so massive. I'm gonna be the dirty fighter that I have to be. Because still, as I said before, I'm channeling Little Mac here. And, I mean, he is unfair, and he likes to punch people in the dick. At least, isn't that actually kind of a thing? Because I think he, like, punches King Hippo in the dick or something like that. Also, I can't get this guy because I keep sliding around corners in awkward ways. Ah! You're going off the road. At least... Oh, no. <laughs> you will be soon enough. There we go. But also, because Little Mac... Ugh. He uh, can KO punch people and all that. It's ridiculous. Although, if you're at 0% uh, in... Oh, hit the... Oh, I was a bit too far the deer would be when I was wanting to hit it. And there's still those people that are just like... Oh, no. No, oh, wanting to roll over. Because that's what happens when you're driving one of these vehicles. I think I'm going to lose. Oh, please hit me to roll me over, please. I'll do anything. I didn't mean to knock you around earlier. 
But if you're at zero percent, though... And... Oh, come on, I flipped over again! These things are terrible at turning. It's just like in real life. Okay, yeah, there's no way I'm gonna get first. Absolutely no way. Uh, so basically, this race is all about st going slow and not flipping over. Die! At least I got third. I'm really... <laughs> I'm just waiting for them to, like, kill the pedestrians still that are watching the race, because why would you... If you're wanting to, like, watch the race or even participate or anything like that, don't stand right next to the track. You are going to die. Surely. Temple, that is. Oh! Okay, you can definitely get a go boost. I didn't mean to get the go boost, but <coughs> it just happens. It happens that way. Oh! I already flipped over. <laughs> Come on. At least I'm listening to some rock while doing it, though. While I'm flipping around on top of rocks. Let's see. I can I can win this, though, still. It's all about skill and adrenaline. Oh. And just annoying the person in front of me and flipping them over, yeah. What do you think of that? You flip me over, I flip you over. I think this track is basically designed to do this, though. It's to be, like, really, like, screw you-ish. For, like, if you turn too quickly, you will... You flip this stuff over. And so on. But, uh... Come on. Red guy! I know that you're... You're red. Like blood of the deer that I just hit. And you're all going to... You're gonna be like that deer, yeah. Make you red another way. Come on. This guy's just a little bit too quick, and this is the corner that... Come on, seriously? Okay, well, I'm probably gonna be cutting until I uh, win this race. Which is exactly 20 minutes from now. Exactly 20 for a minute from now. We'll have the new live update. Seriously, though. Screw that guy that was in first. Come on, somebody please hit me. Oh, it didn't even go long enough. One more try. So it went from bronze to silver to gold, which it will be on this. Just don't flip over and uh, don't be an idiot. That's my plan. And I'm gonna see if I can do that. Go boost for the win! <laughs> okay, you know how I said don't be an idiot? Well, uh, all bets are off now. <laughs> I think I may or may not have murdered those two guys, but they enjoyed it. That's why they're standing on the edge of the course still, because uh, they want to have the best race experience in their life. And they got that experience right before they died. Yep. Oh, you're gonna get rammed right off the road. <laughs> That's such a bad idea, but at least I'm still somehow like in first. Yeah, almost rammed off the road yet again. But I forgot to say before that like, there's probably a reason why I'm not doing so well in these, because, well, at least this specific one. Because of the fact that, like, SUVs are, like, my worst race. I'm the worst at those. In the multiplayer and stuff. My best race is probably, like, uh, motorcycles, actually. Which is kind of a weird thing, because in the single player, I'm terrible at motorcycles. Oh, come on. No. No. You're gonna get cut off right now. No more beer for you. No! Screw you, man. Screw you. Okay, now I'm gonna just ram this guy in the front off the road. It's always the guy in the Jeep thing that, like, wins, so... You're gonna get rammed off the side of this mountain. Hopefully. Oh, he didn't make it off the mountain. How about now? There we go. Now these flip backwards. Now I I win. No, no, I don't win. Screw you. Screw you all. That guy in the jeep made it back again. You gotta be kidding me. Yes. It's always that same guy. I just want to straight up murder him at this point. Can't you hear me come? Yes, I'm very loud when I ejaculate. Hey, I think I have a new vehicle this time. Either that or... Well, something's different. Yeah, I think I am driving something different, slightly. Should probably have checked that. And the Jeep guy... Well, there's like two Jeep guys this time. What the heck? 
Maybe they're like they're feeling bad for me now that they're actually giving me a better vehicle. And maybe next time they're actually gonna give me the Jeep. Ah. Oh. If I lose again. But this vehicle's much better than the last one. <laughs> that being said, it might be the exact same vehicle. And it just has a different color. In which case, this this black, like white topped hood vehicle is oh man, it's just It's faster because of the colors. It's just like racing stripes. But better. Yeah, this has been a lot, like, significantly, significantly easier this time. So I'm, I'm just gonna say it is the vehicle, or the AI was still being nice to me. Either way. Either way, though, I win, so screw you, Ridge Run. Ridge Racer. And then, and then Franklin just has to brush himself off a little bit. Oh, is this a new race here, or what? Or they just want to give me the, oh, the best vehicle ever. Oh, I, I just love these things. The injection. They're so good. One of the best, like, uh, off-road racing vehicles ever. It's, uh, the, like, the little buggy thing is better. Very slightly, but this thing is, it's pretty beastly. Look, look at this. Oh, I, I can spin around like it's no tomorrow. And uh, there probably will be no tomorrow for this vehicle, but... That's besides the point, because I'm going to bring it to a crushing yard. Car compactor. <laughs> Car compactor? Like a chiropractor, almost. Oh! Oh, man. I think I might have to do that, like, right away. But I do want to have a bit of a break from racing. Because that was, that was a terrible...